Hello, this is Kelly from Rupert and welcome to the E123 challenge. So if you are interested and would like to do this yourself, I would love it if you would come and join along. Uh, today I would like to use up these. This is a scrap buster for one thing. So I pulled these background papers out of my out of my scrap box trying to use up my scraps and I also have these black and white uh, washi sticker flowers things that I would like to use if you don't have these you can always just use some stamps and uh, some black ink and you can do the same thing so what I'm going to do is just kind of pick out one of these maybe I'll pick a skinny one because why not and I'm just gonna put it on this lovely this is a maybe a antique spelling book I believe just put that on there and just kind of tear it tear it out into a square and then I'm gonna find one of these papers that I think might look nice with it and place it on there and that's how I'm going to use up my scraps so I've got these nice book pages and I probably could have pulled the book pages out of my scrap bin too but I didn't think of that and now it's too late <laughs> but yeah so now these are just like little cards ready ready to go into a journal so I'm just gonna I, I guess I'm gonna mask make because that's super easy. It's there's not much to it. And it's really simple and pretty. And using up scraps. Uh oh. Ella's dreaming in her little bed there. Oh, look what I did. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Good thing it was the same size. So we got that one. We can do this. The bu butterflies. You know, I'm just going to do it because, honestly, I haven't really found a use for this butterfly paper. I'm surprised. I was like, I love this paper. And I've had a hard time finding a good use for it so these these would go good in like a little garden journal or a fall journal probably too uh which side do i like better i kind of like the blue side so i'm probably gonna do that let's see what we've got here maybe a skinny one right here pull these off hope everyone is doing well today Things are, well, you know, they're going, <laughs> going along. That one seems like really big for that. Let me look. Kind of like this. I like this side. Try not to put that too low down there so you can't see it. Yeah, those are just nice and simple and fast. I've got green and I've got, I like this one better. Let's see here. What's a good size? Maybe like this one? Yeah, that'll work. And, oh, good gravy. Now the question is, do we put that little one on there or do we just leave it alone? Can we match it up? That's the question. Oh, I guess we can. All right. <laughs> just gonna trim this a little off there. 
I really like this piece right here. I guess I would kind of call these clusters. They're just really big clusters, I guess. All right, I'll pull this off so I don't get too confused. This side or the, oh yeah, this side. That's the one. Save that for a skinny. Maybe turn these in different directions. Put that up in the corner a little bit. Go. This would probably look neat too. If some of the lighter paper we could add, like this one, for instance, would add some stamping, like some script along the edges. Might look nice. Have a tall, skinny. It'll work. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, I just keep seeing the reflection. That's too, I need a smaller one, right? Yeah. And use like half a one. No scraps from using these. Try this one. It's very pretty. bit of ink on there. Will this one fit? Probably not. <laughs> They're really skinny. Oh, there's this one. What are those? Those are pretty. I want to say like hollyhocks or something like that. I'm not, I don't really know though. Maybe this one. Does that need a little ink on there? Oh, fragile paper. Very fragile. Fragile paper. There we go. I'm like <laughs> reflecting the light. That one's very neutral. Another one of those? I know, should I just, no. 
for some reason this one doesn't look as I don't know it looks more modern for some reason what do you think I, I don't really know why but just blends into the background so well oh this this one should be good should we do a big one like a big rose do we have any more bigger ones what is this it's like a botanical like a ginger or something there's another one i don't know if a rose is just maybe this one is exactly the look I'm going for. Just not sure. <laughs> there we go. All right. like that. That's a good one. Whoa. All right. Oh my gosh, that's so many. Like 12 minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woohoo! And I still have a ton of these. A ton! Maybe this one? Let's try that. Oh, now I have a scrap. Oops. I was doing so well up until that point. <laughs> Ooh, which way should we go? Oh, it's stuck. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Very cool. I think we should go this way with it. Very nice. I call that a winner. Winner, winner, and dinner. Very good one. Very good. Very good. How about this one? Let's say I have those two, but I think they're too small. I just don't know about that one at all. <laughs> I just don't even know. That would be good for like a background when I, I need a little background. Something, something. Right in there. To be so gentle when I'm when I'm doing this. Yeah. Very cute. Got like red. Oh my gosh, there's so many of these. What about this one? Let's try this one. Just a little, little guy. Oh, 
This washi tape is just a little more less translucent, shall I say. Well, not really. I mean, it's, yeah, it is a, a little less translucent. I guess you can see that. I can see it now. You can see like the little white border on there. There we go. And if we feel inspired and we want to add more to that later, but that's nice, actually. Quite nice. This one I've had for so, so long. Ooh. That one will fit on there. Yeah, I like that side better. Peel this thing up. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Ooh, that was a tough one. There we go. Let's go on here somewhere. Maybe like here. And then I'll just trim it off like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very good. Very, very. I had this piece for so, so long. I think it would be a really good background piece for just about anything. Trim this off. Oh my. There we go. Maybe I could get two out of it. Maybe even. Something like that. Look like maybe daisies or something. Daisies. Well, seems like a little too tall for this. Let's see if we can peel some more off. See how we like it. I think that'll work. I don't know, this could be like a little booklet, maybe. And just kind of cover the inside. That would be very nice. Yeah, I like that a lot. find something to go up, put that in my unfinished projects, which pretty soon I'm going to do a video on that. Well, we did use up a bunch of these. I think that's plenty. I'll save some of these for another project, but that, don't I have a lot of these? Yeah, it was like in one thing I got for Christmas from like, it was on Amazon. It was just, I couldn't believe how many were in there. So many. <laughs> Which is good. I mean, I've already used a bunch on collage and so forth. So, all right. Very good. Get those all set and lots of these to add onto a page or just as a random flip out or in a pocket. You could do just about anything with it. Yeah, that looks like. Put it right on the 
corner of a page that would look very nice very very good right smack in the middle right there <laughs> it would still look good very good all right well this is a super quick one i hope you give this a try i i i used up you know a ton of my pieces so i'm i'm pretty happy with that all right well as always thanks for coming along and i'll talk to you later